Okay, continuing with our coverage of SopranoCon events, we have the lovely and talented Santa Santiago <laughs> to the left of me. First question, let's get the Soprano question out here. Yes. Um, not only did you get to work with James, of course, but Edie Falco. I find Edie Falco fascinating. So tell me one thing about her that hopefully nobody else knows besides us today. Well, she's a very private person. Um, very uh, serious. Uh, you know, she doesn't mess around on the set. She shows up and she does her job. Mm. And she does it brilliantly. And so, stuff is to say that she was very easy to work with. Oh, lovely. Because she knows her lines, there's no messing around. You just, and she definitely, obviously, knows her character. And uh, so, in our interaction, it was great because I didn't have to work hard. She was, she made it easy. Oh, lovely. That's wonderful. Now, we all recognize your character. What I find interesting is now that I've met you in person, you're very close to your character. Not so much the stiffness, because you feel the stiffness of her, oh. but you feel that inside sort of 50 miles a minute sort of thing, and you bring <laughs> this charisma to this normally, what I would call a normal bland character. Yes. So, was that all you, or was there some direction in part two? Well, no, Jeannie, um, Jeannie is your typical uh, housewife married to a doctor, so she has to keep up appearances. Of course. She's also, you know, a little jittery, uh, not completely, uh, 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 you know, sitting on her feet. She's just like a, well, like my director, Alan Coulter, uh, what he wanted me to do when Carmela comes up to the fence to ask me to ask my twin sister Joan mm -hmm. for the letter of recommendation. Mm -hmm. He said to, he said to me, when you see her, act like a deer in headlights. So that was as clear as can be for sure. me as an actor. Mm -hmm. And I, whatever he meant by that, I completely took that in, and that's how Jeannie came out. Absolutely, and not only that, there's a lot of characters that come and go on the show, right. but yours is recognizable. I mean, it oh, sticks with you. people. Truly, it does. And if you look behind me, if you can see, just look at this. This is a chameleon right here. This woman's got a million different faces, different looks, different colors. I have been called a chameleon. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now, I've had my hair short, long, see? This curly, is all... straight. <laughs> Tis the life of an actor, of course. Now, I notice that most of your work is in television, based on obviously yeah. what you see here. Now, do you prefer TV to film, or? No, I, I love it both the same. I love TV, but I, film is better because it's slower. But my soul and my heart is in the theater. Oh, love I figured that. I, I could peg that. Are you singer, too? Because yes. I, I was just going to say. Yes. Now, I have a question relative to the singing part, as far as, look at that. This music that you have, um, is it your intention to get more into the musical side of things? Case in point, <laughs> which everybody should be buying yeah. or looking her up and no, then buying? I'm, I'm, a, I, uh, I, I'm a pretty legit singer. Um, I've done a, a, about three musicals uh, on Broadway. Oh, lovely. I've, um, I sang on my own Oh, I didn't know yes, that. Yes, um, this is a tip that you oh. This is the music I sang on my own Um, Michael Mann. Yes. The genius producer. Uh, happened to be home one night. And he's caught me singing the national anthem at the World Series the, uh, when the Yankees, no, when the Mets were playing uh, Boston. Yes. And it was the seventh, the seventh, uh, uh, no, it was the third game of the, of the, the World Series. Okay. Mets were down. And Somehow 
I got this gig to, to sing the national anthem, and I sang it pretty well. And Michael Mann was watching, and he flipped out. He was like, when they first announced you, I got scared. I thought, what if she blows it? <laughs> but he sent me roses and roses the next day. And then he says, I'm writing an episode, and you're going to sing in it. Oh, my God. And that's, that's iconic. That's and awesome. And that episode is Heroes of the Revolution. Did you hear that? Heroes of the Revolution. You should remember that. So the music that I sang in that show is, is this CD. And nobody realizes that. Not even I did. They say, I've had people come up and say, is that you really singing? I said, yes, yes. I went into the studio. Yeah, sure, absolutely. And uh, the other thing was, it's like Jeannie and Joe Cusimano. Was that you playing both roles? I said, yes, yes. <laughs> Twins. That's me. I'm, yes. I, you know, there's a technique to it. It's very complicated. You bet. So if people are looking out for you right now, what are you working at right now? Is there something coming out right, right now? No. Okay. No. Right now, I'm chilling. Oh, <laughs> she's chilling. Look at that. No, I'm, I'm, I want to enjoy my summer. Okay, gotcha. Because I'm also, uh, I have a, pl a trip plan um, going to Greece. Oh, lovely. That's beautiful. Yeah, for last week of August, first week of September. Very, very nice. So, I often like to ask female actors in particular because acting in general can be very complicated to get into and stay into and stay relevant. Yeah. And some say for females it is more of a struggle. So, oh, it is more of a struggle. Uh -huh. so Especially my when you get my age. It starts dwindling down. Oh, right, as you get older. So if there is a female actor who is going to be watching this, what would you advise them in terms of getting in and staying in the industry? Gee, I don't know. In, in, the, in these times, it's very difficult. But just uh, pursue, pursue, have faith. Uh, and always be prepared on the spot when an opportunity arrives. Ah, very, very good advice. Which opportunities can come and go, and you have to be prepared. Absolutely. That's perfect. And, and that's it. And to keep working on the craft. Ah, that's very good advice, as a matter of fact. Do you still do ongoing education, like as far as acting? Well, I'm a member of the Actors Studio. Okay. So I often go there watch other actors acting. We do scenes, but I haven't, I haven't had time to do that lately. But it's a place, it's like a, it's like a gym. Absolutely.